Hey Finsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to insert an element at a given po uh, um, position into a list. Okay, so say uh, we have a list like two, four, six, eight of four elements and now we want to insert the element say Alice, so a string element into a list so that we can quickly see um, um, the position where we inserted the element. Okay, and so for example if we have position two, okay, so these are the data. So we have a list. We have an element which we want to insert into a list and we have a position. And now there are three methods of solving it. The first one is to use the list insert method. The second one is the slice assignment feature. And the third one is the list concatenation um, um, uh, method. And I will show you all three me methods and they have different strengths and weaknesses and we will go over them very quickly. So really very quickly. Okay, so let's start with the first method, method one with insert. So the insert function is a, is a list function and it changes a given list object itself. So we have, for example, we can call list insert and now we can use the element. So you know what, I will just write the element and the position directly into the insert function. Okay, so we can, with the insert function, this modifies an existing list object. So we have already created the list object here with those elements and now we insert a new element into a list. And uh, we first need to give the position. So the first element is the position. Uh, where we want to insert it <clears throat> and it's an um, index starting with zero. So zero would be to insert an element uh, at the start beginning of a list. Uh, position zero, one would be to insert it here. Position, position two would be uh, inserted after the, um, um, uh, no, this would, this would be position zero, position one, position two. Okay. And uh, now if you want to insert Alice at position two, then we can simply use as a second argument the element to be inserted, which is our string Alice. And if you print the list now, then we get the result 2, 4, Alice, 6, 8. Okay, so we have uh, inserted. So Alice, now the new element takes on position 2. And this is important. I mean, this is how you, how you should read it. So um, the, the first argument gives you the new index of the new element in the list. And uh, so this is the first method and as you see it's like this method is quick and it's easy to read and um, it's also um, like a um, powerful uh, feature which you can use on all lists and as I said it's very quick because it uses the array representation underlying uh, array representation and um, it, mo it modifies an existing list object. Okay so then the second method is slice assignment. And I think this is a good exercise to know about this method. Um, and it basically, it, uh, so it uses like slicing, but on the left side of the equation to select a bunch of elements. And which element do we select? So we use um, like the start colon stop notation without the step size. So there's an optional step size, size which, which you could uh, give here uh, with slicing. If you're interested in slicing tutorial, then check out my, um, uh, my blog article about slicing or my book even coffee break slicing uh, coffee break python slicing and uh, yeah it, I, it's a very slicing is a powerful feature in python that mod to modify lists and here we give a start index we give a stop index and now if the start and the stop index are equal then the slice is actually empty okay so this is um so you can visualize it like this you have you have a list of those elements now on the left hand side uh, left hand of the equation you use slicing this list two to two and uh, you select an empty slice okay because uh, if you um, so basically we slice from here to here to this position but uh, exclude uh, basically from position posi from like um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the empty, so the empty position two basically. So we select the empty position and now we can overwrite the empty position. We can, um, we can specify a list to be inserted like Alice, for example. So this works just like the insert operation and it, uh, it operates on, on a list object and it's also very fast. Okay. So this is also a beautiful way of, of using slice assignment. It's even a bit shorter than the insert method and it modifies an existing list object. So it doesn't create a new list object. Okay, um, so we so you could also specify like uh, from position two to position three excluded, which would then select the second element and would replace the second element. So therefore, it's a bit more powerful because it can you, it allows you also to replace an element. But if you don't want to replace an element, then you simply have to select the empty slice and you have to give the 
index of this empty slice where you want to replace the empty slice with another um, sequence type, for example, this list. And um, now if you, if you print the result, um, let's first create the list, uh, create a new list. So because otherwise we would like insert this, the LS the second time. Uh, we could also do this, but I just want to, to show that it, uh, leads, it yields the same result. Okay, so you see it yields the same result. Um, we have basically performed exactly the same operation, but it's also it showcases the powerful slice assignment operation. Okay, then the third method I wanted to show you is with list concatenation. So we have list concaten concatenation and um, this is different from the other ones. So say we have the same list, six and eight. I could have also copy pasted it. And uh, here we create, so we um, reassign the result of the following operation to the variable list. So we slice from the left to the position two. And here, you know, the stop index is excluded as I already said from the slice. So we select all elements from two, from, from the first element to the, to the element with index uh, two, but excluded. So only those two elements. And then we concatenate this with the list consisting of one element, consisting of this Alice element. And after that, we, we use slicing again to start from position two to the end. Okay, two is included. Okay, so now these are those two elements. Okay, so we first create a, a, sub, a, li a new list. So this slicing operation creates a new list starting from here to here. And then we insert the new element and then we, um, we like add this, this uh, third list. Okay, so this is also possible to insert elements like this. And the advantage is that you, you operate on a copy of the data. Okay, so therefore, if you, um, so if you print this, it, uh, if you print the list, it has the same, it produces the same output as you can see here. Okay, so all of those three methods produce, produce the same output, but there's one difference that this first, so if you use this list one and list two, now you can check list one is list two to check whether they, um, they point to the same object in memory. And this is not the case. They are not the same. Okay, so they are different objects. So you could modify one. So we could, for example, list one, append an element, say 42. And if we now print list one and list two, then we get different results. Okay, you see, so the f this one has the um, element 42, the second one doesn't have it. Okay, so we have different lists and um, yeah, it's, uh, it um, creates a new list. Okay, so this third method is unique in a way because it doesn't operate on an existing list, it creates a new list. If you want to do this, so if you don't want, if you leave, want to leave the original list unchanged, then take this third method. Otherwise, you should take the first method because it's easier to read. And if you are a bit nerdy and you want to um, like train your Python uh, features, or even if you want to like, for example, insert a number of elements, then of course this one would be much more powerful, the slice assignment feature. For example, you can also add multiple elements here to the list. So let's do this. If you execute the code, you see that we have now added Alice and Bob into the list. So we have, we have now inserted two elements into the list. And this, is, this cannot be done with the insert operation because insert operation simply inserts one element into the list. If you give a list here, then it will just use the whole list as one object and insert the list into the, um, into the, into the sub list. So we can also do this. Like if you copy paste this and you try to insert this whole list, and you execute the code and you see it will just take this whole list as one element and inserts this as one object. But if you want to like insert a number of objects, then the second slicing method is ba basically the best method. Okay. So you have these three different methods with, with three different strengths. Uh, each has their uni uniqueness and a good Python coder will just select the method that fits both, uh, fits best to the uh, underlying problem. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.